This is Rachel Vandenassam, your Shaw Arts reporter on the street. I'm at Red River Road, the Apollo. It's Thursday, September 27th, and we are here for a red carpet event. Four artists, myself, my partner Kara Caggiarini, John Mackett, and Tom White have been working for the last month and a half to bring you Red Carpet City, a knockdown, balls to the walls, drag out, huge arts party. So Carol and I are outside on the street taking a look at her handiwork. She's taken the insides of a city bus and transformed the Apollo. Well, I've just taken pieces of the bus and taken them out of the bus and put them into a whole new context so you kind of just look at them with a whole new eye. And these are bus advertisements, so you just kind of look at them in a different scenario and you don't even know that they're advertisements. What do you think your sort of uh, hopes are for this evening and all of the things that you've done in the inside? Well, I just hope everybody has fun. I don't know. That's all it was about for me was to celebrate. This is John Mackett. John Mackett. Uh, he is one of the crucial four who made this event possible tonight. I'm just going to ask you a few questions if that's okay. Good for it. So what do you think has been the hardest thing about making this event come together? Coordinating with the artists. Artists have a different kind of mentality. Uh, working together sometimes involves a lot of emotion. Uh, communication sometimes is a default. And then other times we connect. And when we work well, we work really well. Tonight we're working very, very well. <laughs> These are two members of the Alaska Army Band, one of the bands that's going to play tonight. They'll be on at 1 o'clock. You want to give us uh, just a little sound bite about how you're feeling about tonight? Pretty awesome. I'm feeling really excited about tonight. Drove down six hours. I'm uh, not living here, so I'm looking forward to jamming out with my buddies. I haven't played in like a month, so it should go over pretty well because it's like pent up energy, you know? Stop rolling. Come over here. And here's two of our roller babes, our babes of thunder. Uh, they're helping us out tonight. They're, some of them are going to be participating in body painting, and these two lovely ladies will be helping us out with go-go dancing, uh, twirling around and just making sure that everybody's having a good time and they're also promoting the, uh, the Derby League. So can I ask you, uh, what are you hoping to get out of tonight and why was it that you volunteered to be participating tonight? Uh, well it was just sounded like a really fun event so we decided to get involved um, but we are recruiting right now so if anyone out there is interested in uh, playing roller derby you should contact us. Uh, you can go to our website uh, tbayrollergirls.com or uh, you should come out to a game next season. We just finished our season so now it's recruitment and training time. Tom, you're covered in paint. No, you're looking good. Yeah, thanks. This is Tom. He's been painting a lovely lady all evening. What's been the biggest challenge you faced uh, moving from canvas or paper to the human body? Well, definitely, like a canvas, you work on in your studio endlessly with no time constraints. And here I'm trying to squeeze, uh, you know, a real painting into the space of an hour or an hour and a half. And definitely a challenge in that respect, for sure. It's a great way to like celebrate art. And I don't know, it's just, I'm part of art and I think that's really cool. So the energy is high in the Apollo tonight as we're preparing for our event. We're all really excited and we're wondering how it's going to go. Um, and I'm going to do performance art. It's my first time to actually do it and I'm terrified, excited, exhilarated, all of those kinds of emotions going on. Uh, and as for the four of us, we have a lot more events planned in the future. We're sort of looking at doing a construction themed celebration for the arts and performance, uh, as well as working for the city uh, in events in October and in December. So you can see a lot of going on downtown in Port Arthur. Uh, also check out the Definitely Superior Gallery. They're also doing a, a huge opening tonight. There's lots going on down here. Come on down to uh, the heart of the Arts District in Thunder Bay. And this is Rachel saying, we'll see you later.